And we also saw a former governor, Neil Abercrombie, who knows a thing or two about bruising uh, primary fights. He's now 84 years old, coming here to congratulate Josh Green. Here's what he had to say. So Go Governor Abercrombie, uh, I mean, you've been you've been through some, uh, you know, bruising Democratic primary fights. What do you make of tonight? Been through bruising Democratic fights and primaries since 1959, <laughs> long before you were born. Yes. And I mean, uh, so you've you've seen some uh, crazy ones. How does this one kind of stack up in the grand scheme of things? Look, the Democrats have always been competing with each other, right from the very beginning, because that allows us to zero in on what people need and say we're going to deliver for them. And I think that's what's going to happen in this election as well. Josh Green and Sylvia Luke are going to deliver at the top of the ticket, and the rest of the Democratic Party is going to take that as a signal for action in 2023. And you know Duke Iona well. Uh, I mean, uh, I know, I know. yeah, you know a thing or two about him as well. Um, is, uh, how is that general election going to shape up? Uh, I, well, I think Duke is going to do his best, and I think he's not going to prevail because I think people are renewing their faith in the possibilities for the Democratic Party to deliver for everybody. And at the national level, you know, we tout seniority in Congress. Obviously, we have that one open seat from Kai's decision to run for governor. It uh, looks like Jill Takuda uh, yeah. won that nomination. Um, how's that delegation shaping up, especially with these big fights, Red Hill, climate change? Our congressional delegation is going to be strong, powerful, and focused on Hawaii and the good of the United States. Count on it. Any, uh, any advice from a past governor to a possible future governor? <laughs> stay focused, stay ready. Imua Hawaii.